in this video series, I'm going to show you how to build APIs with Happy JS. First of all, you need to create an empty directory. I have opened the empty directory in my code editor. I'm going to use WebStorm. You can choose any editor if you like Visual Studio Code. You can choose that. Let's start building the APIs. First step, I'm going to use npm init. It will create the package.json file. Now you you will see the package.json has created successfully. Now I'm going to install the happy framework npm i minus s happy. Minus s mean please add the dependency to package.json. So happy package has been installed successfully. Let me create a new server.js file. I'm going to create javascript file and the name will be server.js. Cool. Now, first of all, you need to import the happy package. Now I'm going to create new instance of happy server. I'm going to create a server and new instance of happy dot server. That's it. Now this server has route property. All this stuff has included with this server object. Let me connect the server to localhost server dot connection. Here I need to specify my port. I'm going to use 3000 and host should be localhost. And here we need to start the server. Server.start is a method. It will take error, call error object with callback. If error comes, we need to throw the error. If everything is good, I'm going to log this simple message. Server is running at port. I can get the information of the port server dot info dot port. That's it. Open your terminal and execute this command node server dot js. Bam. Server is running at port 3000. Everything looks good. Now I did not add any route yet. Let me show you how to add the route server.route. It will take an object and this object will have three properties path. And the second property is method. And the last property is handler method. Handler method will take reply request and reply method. So let me define the path. I'm going to define the root path and the method should be, you should choose HTTP method. Here I'm going to choose get method. Let me reply a simple message. Welcome to happy API. That's it. Now let me restart the server. This time I'm going to use Nodeman. If you don't have Nodeman, you can install it globally. npm i minus k and nodeman it will install the nodeman globally now i'm going to run the application by using nodeman server.js i don't need to reload the application again when i save the application it will start the reloading okay server is running at port 3000 let me go to the local host 3000 Ah, did you see that? I got the message. Welcome to happy API. Cool. So let's start building the routes and controllers. Controllers. I also will have directory for models. Okay, let's start creating the controller first. Let me try to create a product controller product product dot controller. It will export an object module dot exports. We need to object. We need to export the object and this object will have five methods create. It will take request and reply. And the second method will be find 
I will use this method to find all the products and here we have find one and finally I will have update method to update the products and this method will be used to delete the product so now I'm gonna get a new routes product dot routes it will export the array this array will have object of routes I will have five object let me import the controller first product controller go to the controllers directory and here we have product controller I told you each route object will have three properties path this time I'm going to use API slash products and this method should be post I'm going to use this method to create new product and the handler now I need to pass the reference of create method make sure you did not call the method here the same let me copy that API products I'm gonna use this method to get all the products the method will be find and this method will be used to get single product so I'm gonna use the ID in Express basically you use this way in the happy you have to use this way you can pass the ID by dynamically when you send requests from the postman here I need to get the find one and here I need to update the company update the product I'm gonna use update method from the product controller and finally I will have delete method delete and the product controller dot delete that's it let's uh, let me add some random message create is not implemented yet implemented yet okay and here we have point one update here we need to add the route point one is not implement point is not implemented yet and here we have point one and here we have update and here we have delete that's it now I'm gonna show you how to add these routes so how can you include these routes I'm gonna use server dot route and here we need to import the routes product routes I'm gonna use product routes required from the products go to the routes and here we have product routes bam now I'm gonna include this include the product routes it will return the array now you can include that let's give a shot from the postman you need to send request to the local host 3000 and slash API products let let's assume I would like to find all the products how can you do it Ah, you got the message find is not implemented yet if you will try to find the IT ah, find one is not implemented yet okay let's start implementing that first of all you need to include the mongos I'm gonna use mongo DB npm install minus I minus s mongos Mongo's package has installed successfully okay so how can you add the Mongo's to happy JS how to integrate the how to connect happy application to MongoDB let me show you first of all you need to import the Mongo's package I'm gonna use required method please 
give me the mongoose mongoose has a connection method mongoose dot connection here you need to provide the use mongo client is equals to true and mongoose dot there are a couple of events i'm gonna emit the events if mongoose has connected successfully then i'm gonna log the message console dot log mongoose connected to mongoose cool if something went wrong while connecting i also want to log the error how can you do it there is an error event i'm going to emit this register this error event please tell me when something went wrong while connected to mango tp to mango tp and here i need to log the error message error while connecting to mongodb okay it will take an error i need to also need to lock the error message let's give a shot ah there is a problem i got the problem what is that mongos dot connection is not function cool okay there is a connect method there is not a connection here i need to provide the mongodb uri mongodb local host colon 27017 here i am going to write the name of the database happy you youtube db i'm going to create this one youtube youtube happy db let me try to create the database right now i don't have this database make sure your mongodb is running open the terminal and run this command mongodb it will start the mongodb server and open another tab here you need to write the mongo command okay now i'm going to create a new database you have to use this command use youtube happy db bam database has created successfully let's give a shot let me try to connect to the mongo tp there's a problem here i need to fix that local host to 1270.0.1 ah now you have got the message connected to mongo tp let's start building the model I have only one model, single model. The name of the model is product dot model dot js. It will add the JavaScript extension for me. Let's start building the model. Import the Mongoose package. Uh, let me get the schema class. Mongoose dot schema. Here I need to create a product schema. It will. new schema i need to create a new instance of the schema class here i need to provide the configuration or columns or attributes of the document the first one is title the title the type of the title will be string let me specify the type uh, string and i'm going to mention it to required property okay required to true and product and the second qty quantity and the type should be number okay and the third attribute third property is price let me do that and the type is number cool uh, finally i need to export the schema it will export the reference instance of the model instance of the document mongoose.model here i need to provide the name of the document name of the collection product it will automatically add the products and product schema that's it
so let's start creating the product open the product controller here I am going to do how can you get the parameters from the request let me try to create that first of all you need to import the product model product and go to the models directory and here we have product model okay product.create here I need to provide the title how can you get the title you can get the request.payload.title okay and I want to get title and the second property is quantity and the last property is price let me oops let me refactor here cutie boy and price and the second method is callback method it will take error and products if error comes we need to handle the error I'm gonna return reply here we need to provide the error and here I'm gonna send the code this is a format happy use this format the error code should be 500 if everything is good we need to reply dot response with 200 status code let me provide all the products oops it will return the single product saved product let's give a shot try to create new product you need to select the post I'm gonna set draw JSON here I am going to do provide the title of the product the title should be Mac PC whatever Mac iMac and QT boy is one and price I'm gonna add random price Cool. Whoa, no, no, no. What is wrong? Products. Oops. Ah, did you see that? A product is created successfully. Bam. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find all the products. Product dot dot find. find I don't have any criteria or query object it the second argument is added and give me the all products bam if error comes we need to handle the error this time I need to send the 400 404 because I did not find any products if error came everything is good we need to reply with all the products let's give a shot I have only one product that's why I got the single product from the MongoDB let me try to find the single product how can you do it product.find one and you can also use find by ID method now the question is how can you get the ID from the request dot params dot ID cool it will give me the single object if you did not find any product please send the 404 code if everything is good we need to return the single product let me try to find the product by ID I need to provide the ID it will send the single product ah I got the single product now I want you to work on the delete and update it's your job I want you to work with delete and update you can do that 